Throughout life, we are surrounded by negative suggestions, and these start early in our childhood when we're told, don't do this and don't do that. The point is, the more we try not to do something, the more likely we are to give in and do it. Children are particularly prone to negative suggestion, and to show you this idea in its simplest form, I made a box that has a big red button on the front. We set the box up in a classroom we'd rigged with hidden cameras, brought in some midgety things to help out, and told them not to touch it. You've got to guard this. It's a box with a surprise in. OK? Will you guard it for me? Don't look inside the box. Don't open it. So my negative suggestion there, don't look inside the box, is designed to sit heavily on their minds and stoke their curiosity. We can't look in it. Don't press that little button. You catch it and it'll open. <laughs> the idea goes round and around in their heads and the more they try not to open it, the more difficult it is to resist. A hand came out and pressed the red button. Oh, a hand came out. It was out. a right, visible so... hand. Right. And, and, and I was so scared. And, and he hit me. And it opened the box. This rebellious urge to fight commands telling us not to do something is founded early in life and can carry on over into adulthood. Curiosity plays a role too. We wonder what will happen if we do the thing we're trying not to do and tend to give in because that childlike naughty urge won't go away. <laughs> Curiosity can indeed kill the cat.